Hey campers, my name is Victoria and I'm here to inspire you to use your creative mind. As we all know, this week's theme is Safari Week and I decided that today we would bring the safari to life. But before we begin, let's see what the magic easel has to say. Imagine. Imagine is the perfect thing for the easel to say to us considering we are imagining being in the safari. We're gonna make this as real as possible by creating our own safari dioramas. If you've never heard of a diorama before, basically, we use a box to bring the environment to life. What we're going to need is a cardboard box. It can be a shoe box or a fold-up box to just get rid of the flappy edges to create something just like this. We're gonna need colorful paper, stickers, anything to color, whether it be paint, crayons, or markers, and of course, glue if you plan on sticking paper to your diorama, scissors to cut your paper if you choose to use paper on your diorama, and some fun little toys. I have my zebra toys, some butterflies, and a little safari girl. So now you're just gonna press pause, gather all of your supplies, and then we're gonna begin. So now that we've gathered all of our supplies, it's time to get started. You're gonna get your box. If you decide to paint your background and your surface on your box, you can do that now. But if you're gonna be using paper and you wanna measure your paper to your box, I'm gonna show you how to do that real fast. Let's use this blue paper as an example. If you're trying to measure for your background, I recommend you turn your box around, lay it flat, and make sure the paper goes to the corner up here. You're going to fold this edge over and fold the bottom edge over as well. I'm gonna do that real fast and show you what that'll do. When you fold these edges over and you make them nice and tight, after measuring the outside of your box, it should fit the inside of your box. As you see, I have some space that I still need to trim. That'll help me measure my box even more. So I'm gonna bring it in and then I'm gonna get my scissor and cut my paper to make sure it fits. I'm gonna to continue to do that for all of the edges that I choose to put paper on. If you decide to do this, I recommend that you have an adult's help, considering you will be using scissors and you wanna make sure everything is safe. Then, once you're done cutting your paper, you're going to glue it to the surface and it should look like this. So now you see, I might have added a couple of extra things, like a sun and the background, and you can do that too. All you have to do is you can use markers, crayons, or other pieces of paper and create your design. If you wanted to do other pieces of paper, you're gonna need glue and scissors once again. If you decide to paint it, make sure each layer dries first. So if you painted an orange background, you're gonna paint the orange and make sure it dries completely. Then you're gonna get your yellow paint, do your sun, and then that'll dry completely. You do that order because most of your paper will be orange, Yellow will be here, and then you want the black to be the last color that you paint. That's gonna be the darkest one, and it's supposed to represent what is closest to you. So then you're gonna wait for the yellow and orange to be dry, and you'll paint your black, let it dry, and then you can do the rest of your box. Now, this one we start decorating the inside of our box. Like I said earlier, I have a bunch of different stickers. Before I put my zebras inside, and my little safari girl, I wanna put my stickers inside. I think I'm going to put in my cheetah and my elephant and maybe have it's a zoo out there in there too. So we're going to open up our stickers, take them out, I'm going to get my cheetah. I think I want my cheetah to be resting somewhere on the back corner here. So I'm going to stick my cheetah inside, there she is nice and pretty. And my elephant's gonna be on the other side. So now we have my elephant. Back here on the right side of the sunset. 
Now if you choose to glue your toy animals to your diorama, I recommend that you use a strong glue so it doesn't fall over. You can even use clay. If you have clay, you can put that on the bottom and stick their little paws into the clay and it should dry so they stay still. Before I put my zebras inside, I want to also have some birds. I have some more stickers here of birds and different flowers that I'd like to put into my scene. So I'm going to take these stickers out as well. And you are more than welcome to use different stickers. You can use different themes, different backgrounds. Maybe your safari will look different from mine. Maybe you have more trees in your safari. I decided to go with this kind of safari because I just love the way that the sunrise looks. I'm going to take this little parrot sticker here and have him flying right over the sunrise. Very cute. And then let's see. I'm going to have some leaves. Oop. I'm going to have some leaves right by my little elephant here. And then I'm going to put my little zebra guys in. I don't want to glue mine down because I like to use my zebras in a bunch of different environments. Maybe I'll want to play with my diorama and have them move around. So you can play with yours too, kind of like a dollhouse. So I'm going to have him right around here, maybe closer to the elephant because the cheetah might attack my zebras. So I'm going to put them here together because they're best friends. And my safari girl is going to be right next to them welcoming us to the new environment. This is how my diorama turned out. Now just because my diorama has a sunrise, sunset, zebras, elephants, and a little safari girl, doesn't mean yours has to look exactly like mine. Maybe yours will have a forest, maybe you'll have some water and you'll have some animals drinking out of the water. Maybe you won't even have a little safari person, or maybe yours will be a safari person with a camera. Maybe you have whatever scene you can think of. And I want to see what you came up with on our blooms. I'm excited to see how I inspired your creative mind. See you next time.